Hi, this is Andy again, and I got another Android tutorial today. Um, I'm actually, this is going to be a whole new series on uh, the Facebook SDK and how to implement it in your app. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is um, create a project uh, in Android Studio. Studio. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this properly so that it actually works. Um, Facebook does provide uh, instructions on how to use it in Android Studio but it's very, very outdated and it won't work. Um, so this is using um, Android Studio 0.5.2, I believe, um, or three, so 0 0.5.3. Uh, I just updated it today, so that's probably why I thought it was on uh, 0 0.5.2. And uh, just create a project right now. We're not gonna do any Facebook code in here. Um, just create it and then um, close it. So we'll just, in the meantime, we'll minimize it. Um, what we're gonna do now is uh, download the, the Facebook SDK and extract it. So you're gonna have to go to uh, developer.facebook.com, go into the documents, Android, and uh, download the SDK and uh, take a look at your um, prerequisites and getting started tab. This will help you kind of get started, but it's not everything you need to know. One thing you need to know about um, Facebook is that it does use the, the app. So they do give you a copy of, um, I guess, the latest stable. Um, this is actually what you're going to need to do to install it. However, it's uh, like, don't actually copy it and paste it because it's not going to be accurate because it's very out, out of date. Um, the current version, uh, it says uh, 3.8, but um, your app is actually, oops, sorry, wrong part, bin. Your app is here, and it's actually 7.0.0. .0. That's the app that you need to install. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the, the link for it. So we need that. Just copy it. Um, I have my ADB in um, my path on here on um, Linux. Uh, it's you can do it on Linux, uh, Apple, Mac, um, OS X, and Windows. But the the process is different. So just Google how to add ADB to your to your path for all of those, and it makes it just a lot easier. So we're gonna do uh, ADB. I want to make sure that I, yeah, okay. So my emulator is connected and I want to actually send the, the APK there. So I'm going to do paste, but I need to actually add some code. So go here, ADB install. Ah. And then um, we need to copy the file name. So we'll go here. And copy that, paste, and hopefully this works the first time. Do, 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 do. Success, awesome. So now we should, if you go into your emulator and go in here, you should have the Facebook app installed, which we do. So that's fantastic. This will help you um, in the future when you need to test out the Facebook bits and pieces. Um, if you have the app installed, you can completely log in and use it like a regular uh, Facebook app on the phone. So that's kind of cool. So after you've um, installed the app, let's uh, include it into our project, the SDK into our project. So um, the easiest way to do this actually is uh, probably the least conventional. So we're gonna go into, uh, let's see, oh no, go into uh, our projects. So this one is gonna be, why isn't it not there? All right, let's close this. You know what, let's probably save somewhere else. Let's see where this is. It's in. Oh, fantastic. It changed the location of all of my stuff. So it's in our 
Android Wear Preview. Okay. Anyway, you're you're likely gonna have your app here, but um, for some reason, in this latest update, when I created a new project, it put it in my uh, downloads. So if I go into here and then go into Android Wear Preview, Samples. Okay, fantastic. So here's our Facebook example. Um, so go into here. We, um, this is where it gets a little tricky. We actually want to create a, 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 a libraries folder, which you wouldn't normally do, but since it's the Facebook uh, SDK is not uh, bundled up into like a, a jar file or anything like that, um, we're gonna we're gonna have to do this a little differently. Okay, so we do want uh, we'll create a new folder here called. Yeah, libraries. We'll just okay. Now we need to copy and paste the the Facebook SDK there. So go to downloads. Why are you messing with it? Okay, we'll close this for now, and we'll close our browser. We don't need that. Unable to find it. Fantastic. Okay. So go into SDK. And then uh, you'll find this whole Facebook folder. Just copy and paste it into um, your library folder that we just created. Okay. And then once we do that, we need to delete some files in here that are not going to be necessary. So we don't need this. Project properties we don't need. We don't need um, the build file and there's two other files here that are actually hidden so we can delete that once we get back into Android Studio. So let's go open this back up and um, I have a reason for uh, deleting and editing it this way. It's because when you open it back up into Android Studio, it's not actually properly added. Um, when it, you know, it does its little thing when it's building and stuff like that. Um, adding it as a module, I've had trouble. I had trouble in the past doing it, so uh, that's why I didn't do it that way this time. So let's go into our libraries. Okay, so we need to. We don't need this class path file. So we'll delete that and the project file, so we'll delete that as well. Okay, now um, we have a build.gradle file, but we wanna kinda update this to um, whatever the current versions are. So let's see, we need to add a new one. and these are likely way out of date and I no longer have this so we'll put, I believe that's the current version actually you know what we'll um, I think the easiest way to do this is to match it with your actual build.gradle file here. So we'll add, um, let's see, okay, that's correct. We'll copy this. We'll paste it here. C 
frequencies we need. And let's copy the, the, the dependency file. Oof. libraries file into here so oh sorry there's actually another one we need to do go to settings.gradle file oh uh, okay we need to do include to sync it. Boom. Looks like that was a success. Let's try to add something that's Facebook related. Okay. So we'll go into our project now. And let's add, let's just add a login button or something. Go to our, boom, there we go. And voila, you can now use the Facebook to the, the Facebook SDK into your project. So let's run it and make sure that it actually shows up as a Facebook button. It'll probably show up on top of the Hello World text. So forgive me for it looking like crap, but it's just a test to make sure that it works. And that's fantastic. All right, let's get our error code. Okay, that didn't work. Let me work out the kinks and I'll get back to you. Okay, I forgot one important step. We have to add it as a, a module dependency. So. Up here, this is your project structure. We're gonna click on modules, Facebook dependencies, click the add button, module dependency. We'll add Facebook on there. We'll apply it. And let's try rerunning it and see if it works now. That looks good. Why did it run? Yay, there we go. Now this is gonna crash if I click it because we don't have any of the code to actually implement the button which is required. But there you go. You have an actual functioning part of um, the Facebook SDK into your app. So I hope this tutorial helps you. I'm gonna link, link actually uh, the Stack Overflow um, link that helped me. So I uh, hope that you get started with some Facebook login if you need it. Um, I'll also do a, a Google Plus one in the future. Um, that one's a little bit more complex because you have to register your app um, before you do some stuff to get the code to work. But um, I'll, I'll make sure I do a, a Google Plus one as well. Alrighty, have a good day.